said. Oh, gee, I am terribly sorry. I must have gotten off on the wrong floor. Oh, that's okay. It's all right. Wait a minute. Wait. That is you. <laughs> Rhoda, open the door. Yeah, okay. Rhoda. What? Did I wake you up? Uh, not as yet. Well, snap to it. Come on, it is Saturday. Shape up what day. You Rhoda, you should be like me. Try jogging. Yeah, come on, follow me. We'll start right here in the apartment. Oh, come on, Rhoda. No. One, Ninja, two, three, don't do four. This to me. Atta girl. You come on, Rhoda, you're gonna love this. I'll pick up those feet. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Well, hey, it's a start. Brenda. <laughs> yeah. I am so tired. You can't believe it. All I've been doing lately is work. Yeah, how come? Oh, how come Halloween? Costume time, and it's been so crazy. People are renting everything. A guy came in yesterday, and he rented a dozen cow costumes. He said he's taking his entire family to a Halloween party. <laughs> They're going as a dairy. <laughs> anyway, I really have to go back to bed. Forgive me, I need some sleep. No, I you do don't need Rita, sleep, do. Rhoda. You need exercise. Oh. Wake you up. Makes oh, you feel Brenda. energetic Dude, and alive. Yes. No, Brenda, stop, please. Face it, you are the only jock in our family. <laughs> Except, of course, Ma. Listen, you ought to forget the elevator and run up the stairs. It's only six flights. <laughs> Meet my new jogging partner. Ah, oh, yes, Billie Jean Morgenstern. <laughs> okay, enough of this chit-chat. Come on, pull yourself together. We're all gonna go out and get Papa birthday presents. Oh, great. Ma, you got any ideas? Oh, well... I don't have much cash of my own. You know, all our stuff is in savings accounts or credit cards. I'd really like to buy this present out of my own pocket. If I had enough money, I'd buy your father a waterbed. <laughs> <laughs> Her and Pop on a waterbed. <laughs> oh, what's so funny? Oh. <laughs> Ma, waterbeds are, uh, well, they're very sexy. You and Pop. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think was going on every Saturday morning when we locked the door of the bedroom? I thought you were watching cartoons. <laughs> Only part of the time. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You look a little peaked. <laughs> I am exhausted, Ma. I've been very busy at work lately. Which reminds me, Brenda. Listen, Jack needs some extra help until after the Halloween rush is over. So you want a moonlight? Mm, no, I don't. I work all day. I like to keep my nights free. Not as free as they've been, but free. <laughs> well, if you have any friends that need some extra cash, you know, just let me know. Sure. Listen, uh, I know somebody who needs money and would be perfect for the job. Really? Oh, guess. Oh, please, I'm too tired for guessing games. Okay, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> this is silly. It's just why? silly to think because... Tell her, Brenda, please. Tell her? What? Tell her why she should not work there. Ah, uh, okay, okay, Ma, see, you don't want to work at Doyle's. It's, uh, uh, it's too close to your house. I'm sorry, it's the best I could come up with on such short notice. Ma, uh, you don't get along with Jack. That's a good one, I didn't think of that. I'll get along with Jack. That's a better one. <laughs> Rhoda, all I want you to do is help me get the waterbed for your father that he needs if he's ever going to stand straight again. <laughs> Pulling out the heavy artillery. This entire conversation is, is academic. I am not the one who does the hiring. <laughs> Rhoda, <clears throat> all I want you to do is talk to your boss and tell him that your mother, that wonderful woman who carried you for nine long months, <laughs> During the hottest summer in the history of New York, taking aim, that woman, who you love, perhaps worship, would like to talk to your boss. Firing? You could do that for me, couldn't you? My child. Oh. Direct hit. I'll ask Jack. Congratulations, Ma. You won again. Oh, uh, what's to win? It's family. Love. It's guilt. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> okay, all right. Wolfman. Wolfman. Yeah, Dracula. Yeah. Uh, 
Tinkerbell outfits. Tinkerbell outfits. Five. Five. Three in women's sizes. Mm. Okay. Um, witches. Witches. Oh, get a ton, right? Yeah, we got a lot of them, yeah. Plain fancy? Yeah. We better count them by hand. Oh. Ramon! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ramon, go in the back and get the witch costumes. Witch costumes. Yeah, right. Which costumes? Which costumes? Right, which costumes? Ramon, I want you to go in the back and get the witch costumes. Well, I know that. Good. But which? Which costume? Ramon, I want you to get me the witch costumes with the stitching. Which stitching? <laughs> Give up, Jack. Give up. Mm -hmm. I want to do it. <laughs> the black stitching. The blacks on the rack or the black in the back of the rack? On the rack. Which rack? Take them someplace quick. <laughs> Ramon, I'll help you get the costumes, Ramon. Well, Mr. Doyle, nice to see you again. What do you want? Well, I just thought I'd say hello, spread a little happiness. Okay, you've said it, you've spread it. <laughs> Ma! Ma, why are you here? Ma, come here, Mother. I can tell by your grip you have not talked to him. This is correct, and I'm not going to, Ma. I cannot take advantage of my boss. Well, I can. No, <clears throat> Ma, Doyle, this is it. My daughter tells me you need a new order clerk, and I can take orders. Fine. About face, forward march. <laughs> Jack, I need money. You need help. What else matters? You get on my nerves. Okay, so I'll get off your nerves. What else? You don't know anything about the business. Well, I'm smart. I can learn. Oh, yeah? What's $3.60 times 12? $43.20. Oh, that's amazing. How'd you get that so quick? It's easy. It's the same as 12 pounds of corned beef. <laughs> Jack, uh, please excuse my mother. <laughs> Ma, a man cannot hire an employee because they know the price of corned beef. Oh, okay, sure he can. No, and get don't hit him with your purse. Ma, you're yeah. embarrassed. Yeah. Please, he cannot hire you. Please, please, please. Wait a minute, maybe I can. Maybe I can. I'm the boss. What? Well, why would she's, you hire her? Uh, she's good with figures, and God knows she's pushy. <laughs> you see this? Uh-huh. Put it on. <laughs> Silly, my mother wouldn't do something like that. Come on, this... No, 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 it's okay. Uh, he's a boss. What he says, go. Ma, now, wait, don't put that thing on. <laughs> now what? Now you got the job. What? She's got the job. Why? She can take orders. And she's not afraid to make a fool of herself. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> Hold it, hold it. I'll tell you when to take it off. Fair enough. Hey, Rhoda. Rhoda? I'm here, Ma. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Isn't it exciting? We're going to be working together. Oh, <laughs> Just what I've always dreamed of, working with my mother, Chippy Chipmunk. <laughs> Take that off of you. Please. No, Jack, that I had to keep it on. Oh, and listen, while we're working here, don't give me any special treatment, right? I won't give you any special treatment. In fact, I'll have to give you a lot of orders. And I will take them. <laughs> okay, here's your first one. To get that stupid thing off your head. <laughs> Conscientiousness doesn't count. Neatness doesn't count. Coco doesn't count. What counts? Height. <laughs> oh, 
Hey, time's wasting. I'd like to get to work. What do you want me to do? Hang my coat in the back and bring out the elephant costume. Wouldn't it be easier just to dye this? <laughs> Good morning, Jack. Listen, I didn't have a chance to talk to you yesterday, but um, I hope you don't feel you had to hire my mother because she's my mother. I didn't. I hired her because I needed someone. She's a someone. Have some cocoa. Ma's here already? <laughs> morning, dear. Good morning, Ma. Okay, boss. What's next? Morgan Stern? Morgan Stern. Yeah. Fill in the new girl. Oh, right, right, of course, uh, new girl. Come uh, here, Ma, this is the... Uh... Could I ask you a question? Sure, anything you want. No. Uh, do you dress like this for work every day, or are you going to a rodeo? <laughs> this is the order desk. <laughs> that is where you sit. First, you sit. First, I dust. <laughs> then I sit. Do you want to clean up this place? <clears throat> when a customer comes in, <laughs> when a customer calls for a costume, you simply fill out the order sheet. This is an order. Blank, see? Put in all the information, give the pink copy to Ramon, and he will fill it. Understood? <laughs> that's it? I mean, yeah. that's nothing. That's what you do for a living? No, that is what you do for a living. Do it. <laughs> Your face is getting all flushed. Why don't you go put some cold water Ma, leave on? me alone, Ma. Please. Oh, and another alone. thing. When we work in the office, don't call me Ma. Call me Ida. Ida. I, I can't do that. Well, call me Morgan Stern. That's what Jack calls me. That's okay. I'll call one of you Big Morgan Stern, the other one Little Morgan Stern. Hey, that's great. Hey, hand me a pencil, will ya, little Morgan Stern? <laughs> Miss Fun? Yeah, Fun. Good morning. Hello. I'd like to rent a bullfighter suit. Let me see your legs. What? <laughs> Mom, no legs. You don't want him to look goony, do you? I mean, you don't want to look goony, do you? I don't think so. Of course not. You're going to show your legs to the world? They ought to be good ones. Mom. Pull up your please. pants. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, those legs belong on the ball, not the ball side. <laughs> please, would you please stop this? This is outrageous. Uh, sir, your mm. legs are just fine. No, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. The really one perfect costume for you in the whole world is Frankenstein. <laughs> We're all out of Frankenstein. Unless, of course, we have the Lone Ranger. Yes. <laughs> what luck. <laughs> Are you married? Yeah. Oh, good. Then your wife can be your faithful companion, Tonto. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Okay, okay, I'll give it a chance. Um, I'll have my wife come in for her tonto fitting. Oh, great, excellent choice. You just sign your name here and your number, and on Halloween, you can get the costume. Gee, the Lone Ranger. Right. You don't think I'm too chubby? Oh, no, you're perfect, except for your legs. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hey, 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 how about that? I did it my first rental. And if I say so, it was a pretty good one, huh? A good one? That was just dreadful, Ma. From now on, don't get personal with the customers. You simply take the order, just like I showed you, and that's it, okay? You know, Morgan Stern, you're absolutely right. There, you see, thank you, Jack. Not you, Morgan Stern, you, Morgan Stern. You just ran two costumes for a guy that came in here for one. Good work. Good cocoa, too. All that's missing is the marshmallows. Regular or mini? <laughs> You know, Brenda, when you invited me over this evening and said we'd sit and hold hands, this is not what I expected. Come on, Dan, I'm trying to get in shape. Come on, you gotta resist me. You keep sweating like that, it'll be easy. I'll get it. I'm just about to make my move. Yeah, sure. 
She is driving me crazy, Brenda. She's driving me crazy. And it's your fault. What did I do? What did I do? It's not what you did. It's what you didn't do. You didn't give her a strong enough reason not to work down there at Doyle's with me. She is driving me up the walls, across the ceiling, out the windows. Having a little problem with your mother? <laughs> and it's getting bigger every day, Gary. Well, I guess families just shouldn't work together. Oh. Well, now Steve and Edie do it. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda, you don't really uh, get my message. Perhaps several hundred illustrations can help you. Yeah. Uh, do you guys mind? No, go ahead. No, it doesn't. Well, listen. <laughs> Brenda, today she brought my lunch. <laughs> In what was a Bozo the Clown lunch pail. Yeah. We have to squeeze the nose to get the damn thing to open. Yeah. It goes beep, beep. Yeah. That sounds kind of cute. Cute? What cute, Brenda? You don't hear what I'm saying to you. Now listen, Gary, stop pulling on the sink. That's cheating. <laughs> she is cleaning incessantly. She washes everything in sight. So? Including my face. Gary. Well, you know, I hate to say this, but uh, I think that you're picking on Ma. I am picking on Ma. Yeah, she's... Sure, she's doing it all out of love. How would you like it if she were doing it all out of love for you? It wouldn't bother me a bit. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the last illustration. Yeah. This is the best. I saved it for you. Yeah. Guy came in, a regular customer. We affectionately call him Hawk Face, with good reason. Yeah. Mm. In addition, the man has the IQ of a dart. <laughs> he came in today to rent himself a bridegroom costume. Oh. So what does our mother ask him? You want a bride to go with that? So uh, she gave him your phone number, huh? No, no, no. Yours. <laughs> How do we all do? Well, you didn't put me in the dumper. <laughs> Boy, I have never been so tired, but felt so great. <laughs> well, uh, maybe once. I'm gonna miss coming here every day, you know? We had fun, didn't we, Rhoda? Well, Ma, now that it's all over, I can't complain. Good, I never thought I'd enjoy helping people dress up as animals, but I liked it. Good. Yeah. And you like to dress them up full time? You mean work here yeah. full time? Yeah. Joke, Jack, you're kidding, right? I mean, you're just you're just being polite. Oh, ah, what well, polite? What polite? What do you say, Ida? Well, uh, Jack, that's very nice. Uh, Rhoda, what do you think? She's got nothing to do with it. You can answer for yourself. You're a grown woman, almost. <laughs> now, don't be looking at me because uh, I can't tell you anything. Like like Jack said, I I got nothing to do with it. Nothing. I can't tell you anything about it I, or what to do. I don't want to. I, what I want to do is just go home. It's been a long, long, long day. Happy Halloween. It's the first time she didn't have an opinion on something. What's with her? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, let me give my answer huh? to you tomorrow on this, huh? What? Spider-Man. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Why did you run out like that? Ma, I, I was simply tired. I wanted to come home. That's all. Rhoda, I always know when you're lying. All right. I was a little bit upset. Good. What about? About you being, uh... In the place where I work. What's the matter? Didn't I do a good job? No, no, no. You did a great job, as a matter of fact. It's just that I... I... Amma, this is very hard to say to you. I... Just say it. Okay. I don't want to work with you. Could you say it a nicer way? <laughs> Excuse me. Here, sweetheart. Ma... <laughs> terrible. I feel, I feel very petty and, 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 well, saying what I'm going to say, but I guess I better just say it, because uh, keeping it bottled up is not working. See, the way things are now, Ma, you are, are just entirely too involved in my life. 
And, and, and the two of us together, eight hours a day, ooh, it, it's too much, see? Besides that, you came waltzing into that job uh, at Joel's uh, with no experience, right off the street. And right away, Jack is smiling. Ramon thinks you're a doll. Everybody loves you. You're Cracker Jack. I mean, you sold out the whole store. Now, that was my job at Down at Doyle's. I, you know, my turn. It's, I had dibs on that place. I mean, I had dibs. I... Just a second. Are you trying to tell me you're jealous of me? No. Yeah. I am jealous of you. Yes. Rhoda. That is the nicest thing you have ever said to me. <laughs> Sweetheart, I have no intention of taking that job. Just pay Jack the courtesy of saying I'd think about it. I mean, with your father retired, we've got a lot of fooling around to catch up on. Just a minute, Mom. The kids. Oh, again? Yeah, you're a greedy little kid, aren't you? <laughs> No, no, listen, you're not just passing up this job, you know, this opportunity, because of what I said. Oh, I... no. I didn't like working with you either. Yeah. Well, I mean, you were always correcting me, telling me what to do. If I did, it was because I wanted to help you. Yeah, well, I have my own way of doing things. I mean, different people have different styles. Suppose I came in and feared with you, told you what to do. You do it all the time. Yeah, but that's my style. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Now listen, I gave you twice already, little girl. Don't call me little girl. I'm probably older than you are. Excuse me, ma'am. I am very, very sorry. Yeah, I, I thought well, you were. I've been walking up and down those damn halls for half an hour. I'm just trying to find out where the Conway masquerade party is. Oh, right, right. Well, the Conways live on on, on seven. Uh, seven G, I think. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. Just just a moment. Uh there's something that I've wanted to say all my life. I hope you won't be offended. Oh, I've heard it all. Nothing would offend me. Happy Halloween, Shorty. <laughs> Yeah, Carlton. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Listen, there's a gang of hooligans down here. They're dressed up like animals and they want to get in. They say it's Halloween, but I don't fool easy. Carlton, tonight is Halloween. Those kids just want to go trick-or-treating. Let them in. Well, they look pretty weird. Uh, uh, Carlton, that's the costumes they dressed up. Let them in. It's all right, fellas. Come on in. Sure, you can bring your motorcycles. Thank <laughs> you. 